And what is up guys, Technicals here. Kind of a nothing burger video, but I was unaware of this. Some of you might already be, but I found a great way to set up new systems. Very easy to install Windows, super fast. Uh, so if you're setting up salad rigs or other AI rigs where you're doing like a Windows install with some frequency, this is an absolute no brainer. So I'm gonna take you through what I found, how to do it. it. Again, it's super duper simple, super duper easy. And from the time that you turn on a brand new system, you're in to Windows 11 uh, in like 10 minutes flat and you don't have to answer any of the prompts, turn off any of the stuff. It just comes up and it's ready to go. Before that, hey you, you look like a guy who could use a power strip with a lot of outlets. Well, say less fam, introducing the Trond TDPS US 27S power strip with 24 AC outlets and a rotating plug. Additionally, it comes with three USB-A and three USB-C charging ports at the bottom. Surge energy rating up to 4,000 joules. So if you're like me and need to plug in a whole lot of really low power stuff in one area, check out the Trond. Link in the description below. And once again, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I originally got this from this guy's video. Uh, link in the description below over to his video. It's really, it's 21 minutes long. I don't know that it needs to be that long. Uh, but anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to need a USB flash drive, at least I think for Windows 11 installs, it's uh, over 16 gigs it needs. Uh, it's going to bypass the hardware requirements, so usually it does a check. You can bypass needing an internet connection, and you can go through and remove all the bloat ahead of time. Tons of cool features, and what does this guy's shirt say? All right, I think it says nicer, but it looks like it could be something else. Anyway, link in the description below over to this website. It's a German website. Uh, schneegans.de it's going to generate an xml file so what you're going to do is you're going to create a windows 11 installation media usb drive just like you normally would a usb drive that you're going to boot from when you're installing windows on a brand new machine again this is great for salad rigs because i'm you know installing them with some frequency and moving things around and tinkering stuff if you're mining you know you probably do windows install once a week or once a month or something like that most people only do it like once every few years so this is super duper handy you simply go down the list and start checking off the different uh different things the normally the questions that you would have to answer during a normal in windows install the language your region uh and you can bypass your system your windows 11 system requirements here you can let it generate a random name go ahead and put in your password your time zone uh your uh partition layout uh, if you're using a large uh, hard drive or something like that um product key you can bypass and say i don't have a product key put in different administrator accounts if you want to do that you can do different stuff with virtual machines uh and, have, and support this is the probably coolest feature here is you can choose what uh things that normally come installed on windows you want to keep or remove so i went ahead and removed all the bloat stuff that i'm just never going to use especially on a salad rig when i set this up i did it for my brand new system my main rig system so I left some of these things in here, but for a salad rig, you don't need Skype or Weather or Teams or Solitaire Collection for a salad rig. Or, I mean, unless you really want to play Solitaire on your salad rig. Uh, but you can go ahead and check off these and it won't install them. Another very cool thing too is you can run custom scripts with this file. Now, I'm not going to make any suggestions on it and I have not tried it. But if you head over uh, to, I'll put a link to this in the description below as well, you can run PowerShell commands. So if you wanted to put in a custom script into this file, it will automatically through the install process, make changes to Windows. So for instance, when we set up salad rigs, we usually set the power profile to high performance or to turn off updates and things like that. I'm not sure if you can turn off updates with a script, but you can certainly change the power profile. So if you want to dig into that deeper, link to that's in the description below as well. You could put the uh, the command in here and it will automatically run the script. That way when Windows comes up, it's already in high performance mode. And then here at the end, all you'll do is download the XML file. And here, because I'm already done it, I'm just gonna show a screenshot from his video. You take that XML file and you put it in the root folder of the USB disk, uh, the Windows installation media disk. You take it out, you eject it, and then you go over to your brand new fresh virgin computer, you put in the USB disk, you press the on button, and it goes. There's no intervention involved on your part. The next thing you know, you're going to be staring at a Windows 11 login screen. Uh, about 10, It took about 10 minutes for me, so your mileage may vary based on hardware, I'm not sure. Uh, but it bypasses all the system requirements, it bypasses your need for an internet connection, all that stuff super useful tool. So I'd like to know in the comments below, I don't know that anyone really needs to comment on this video, but have you already uh, used a tool like this or do you currently, uh, were you aware of it at least? And how, how many times per quarter do you install Windows on a machine? If you're in the mining space, then I imagine that you're tinkering and just tooling with stuff. 
uh, to some degree, I know I am. So I'm always installing Windows, super duper useful tool. Hope people that weren't aware of it can get some use out of it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like this video. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'm The Technicals. See you next time.